And we're going to say if is matched, else we're going to be swapping, or it might be swapping, but we're not going to be swapping if there's a match. So we set is matched here is true. So in here, we're going to have to set this to false so that it actually comes out of it at some point in the future. And what we want to do now is uh, we want to clear is this error? Hmm. Save all. I oh yeah whoops oh, he's less than all right all right so when we match something we want to move it from one of like this location to its corresponding location up top. And the way we're gonna, and each one needs to have a unique destination to go to, otherwise they could overlap and cause some sort of error. So the way we're gonna do that is, uh, well, we're gonna loop through our gem list and look for all the gems that are matched. And then if gems sub i is matched. So if a gem is matched, we're going to go ahead and uh, use this function to recreate the gem. And we just want to add one more line here and we say is matched is false. Because we don't want it to be true anymore. So we want to say gem sub i dot uh, create gem. So this will re-randomize the gem. And we also want to move it upwards. Uh, so gems i sub uh, transform dot position equals new and we want to keep our gems transform in our x position because that's not changing we want to use something some of our y transforms so that we keep in the same so we can base it off our y transform and we want to keep our Z transform. Oh, that will our position. All right. And we're just going to add uh, six to this. So we would add six to each uh, at each position. So it's always offset by that amount so that no two positions will ever be the same. So, see how this works. And that's uh it's pretty good. All right. Um so now we have some simple matching logic and um all right, I'll talk to you guys later.